What's up, mixtapers? Uh, yeah, remember me? Okay, so what I wanted to talk about was a little thing called intonation this time. Um, if you don't know what intonation is, to make it simple, it's basically the guitar's ability to stay in tune regardless of what fret you're on. For example, if your intonation is off and you go to play a major E chord here, it sounds fine. It's in tune, everything sounds good. But then you go to play that same E chord up here, and you end up noticing that it's a little sharp or a little flat, that means your intonation is off. To check and see if your intonation is off, what you need to do is, first of all, tune your guitar and make sure that all the strings are in tune when you've got like, when you're not playing it at all. Like every string open is in tune. The next thing to do after you've got all your strings in tune is to keep the tuner on and then play the 12th fret, which is an octave higher than when you play open. Now if the tuner says that the note is a little sharp or a little flat, that means that your intonation is off. Now, the way that you're going to fix the intonation problems is sometimes, most times, something I would suggest that you let a professional do. Because unless you have a really good understanding of how the guitar works, and if you're taking my advice right now, you probably don't have any better of an idea than I do, I wouldn't suggest necessarily doing it on your own unless you feel a little bit brave, you don't mind maybe screwing your guitar up a little bit, eh, you know? The first and easiest way to start adjusting your intonation is, at least for my guitar, is right back here. I'm gonna get as close as possible. So you can see these little guys right here have a little adjusters on them. Right there. They use flathead screws. And what you can do is you can adjust them back and forward. I would tell you what they're called, but I honestly don't know the proper name for it. So if you know the proper name, please leave it in the comments. But what you can do is you can adjust them back and forth, and judging upon whether or not your note is flat or your note is sharp, you can move it back or move it forward to make it sharp or flat. Now, if you find out that adjusting that is just not doing the trick, another thing that you can do is adjust the truss rod. And if you don't know how to access the truss rod on your guitar, most likely you probably shouldn't be adjusting it in the first place. What the truss rod is, is a little rod that's inside the neck here. Basically, the rod adjusts the arc of the neck. And not only does it adjust the intonation, but it'll also adjust the action. And if you don't know what the action is, the action on a guitar is how far the string is from the fret as it goes down the board. So, if your string, you know, is right where you want it to be at one side of the board, but it's really high at the other side of the board, then that means your truss rod also needs adjusting for that reason as well. There's a lot of different adjustments you can obviously do on a guitar between the bridge, you can change the nut, you can change the height, you can change the truss rod, everything plays a role, which is why I say if you're, if you're not brave or you, you don't have a really good understanding of your guitar, it may be best to have a professional do it. But if you're willing to give it a shot and wanting to learn, um, give it, give it a go. Now on my particular model of guitar, if you do want to access the truss rod, what you would do is take these three screws out right here, and then this panel here, this little teeny tiny panel, will come off. On the inside of that, there is an Allen screw. If you don't know what an Allen screw is, it's basically a six-sided screw hole that you put a little tiny Allen wrench inside of. If you don't know what an Allen wrench is, look it up on the internet. Um, Wiki is a beautiful place. Now, depending upon whether you need the action to be closer or the action to be farther away, you would adjust the truss rod accordingly. Generally, if I remember correctly, tightening it will make the neck go this way, and loosening it, loosening it will make the neck go this way. But that's just a crash course in how to make adjustments on your particular guitar as far as intonation is concerned if you're having any sort of tuning issues. So with that said, I will leave it at that. If anybody has any particular questions, leave them in the comments. And if it's necessary, I will do another video either later in the week or next Monday on my day in regards to how to do all this. And uh, if there's enough people who want to see it actually done, I will take the guitar apart and show you how to do each individual piece. So, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that, and I will gladly do that for you. And uh, also, if you do want that, please specify if you'd rather see it on an electric guitar, or if you'd rather see it on an acoustic guitar. Both of them work kind of the same way, but not really. Um, but that's all for now. Paul, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I hope everything is going well for you in school. The same for you. Um, Ed, I know. As for the rest of you, bye!